Hello everybody, I'm Retail Kid and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to do Starbucks in Minecraft. So first of all, I'm going to start by building the frame of the building. The materials I use is stained uh, glass, bricks, a, a darkest shade of um, wood, and um, stone bricks, and end stone bricks. So pretty much that's the main structure of what the Starbucks is going to be. So what I first, I started out with the front structure to start. All right, in the original photo you could see in the front, uh, they had like this glass, like 25% of the building was glass. So, you know, they, they had very little support for the glass. So that's what I did. Um, so all around the doors you see there's glass. And now I want to talk about these sides. So. I did this with my McDonald's before, and then the picture, it didn't show the full picture of the Starbucks. So there, I could only see one side, but I did it with the McDonald's before, and I thought it would have been better if I did it on both. In the McDonald's, it worked, but I think in the Starbucks, it wouldn't have worked. So I decided on doing the slanted walls on two sides instead of only one. So now I want to talk about uh, this is a re-recording the app crash so i might be going over my topics really quickly but it's just because uh this that i movie crashed so i had to restart so now i want to talk about layering so first of all as you can see i go layers by layers i build up and then i do a little bit of layers but i don't build up too high so if you go on like one quarter of the building and you build up really high, then first of all, it's not visually appealing. And second of all, uh, it's harder to work with. You know, I've been working with building for in Minecraft for about two years now. And, you know, there's only so much selection of blocks. And, you know, while building, you want to make you want to make sure it's always visually pleasing a visually pleasing while you're recording a video so that's pretty much why i build in layers and again it's also much easier so i want to talk about next wait yeah so uh, you can see the little uh stone bricks so in the original photo it was the same texture but a darker shade so i decided i could have used um um gr dark gray um clay but that wouldn't have that would have looked really bad so i thought keep the texture uh it's a different shade but you know you have to work of what you got in minecraft see i'm building up the bricks now in minecraft there's only so much you can do you only have a, i mean you have a lot of blocks compared to older updates but it's a lot of i wish they had a lot of shades for each block and I wish I had more blocks to work with because I just wish they had like a block update or something or you could paint blocks in different colors. But for now, you have to work with what you you have to work with what you got. And this is what I got and this is what they had. I was really scared that I was going to it wasn't going to link up here because at first glance it looks like it's not going to link up. So here's the first frame and so right now i'm building this little frame anyway so i'm working on the frame sorry i had to stop the recording of the app would crash again as you can see here i have this like weird end stone brick and the reason why i didn't do regular sandstone is because the texture was a bit off i mean i like this texture better and i like the shade better and i thought it uh worked better with the picture and the inspiration so i thought you know even though it looks a bit uglier from the front they had the end stone looks a little moldy and old. You know, I liked it. It looks very good from afar. And I like, and the shade was a lot better than the sandstone. So here, first of all, I tried to make like the logo, but the building was an odd number. So I tried to do like one by one by one. So it would kind of look like the letters, but I just ended up doing like a whole slab of uh, quartz. Oh, that's another material I used, uh, court pillars. Those are very useful. Those are one of my favorite uh, building materials. And also, as you can see, I want, I thought it didn't look, too, so, right, I thought it didn't look 
like a Starbucks for a minute. So, I, you know, Starbucks, when you walk into a Starbucks, it feels really cozy and warm. And it has this, like, really nice, you know, it has the same color wood you see in the video. It has this very nice uh, dark wood. Like, it feels, like, cozy, like you're going to sit at the campfire. So, I thought, yes, I'm going to use this kind of wood. So, then I had to you. So I did it the, that wood as a frame because I thought the it the Starbucks didn't look too it looked not Starbucksy enough so I had to fix that anyway so as you can see also in the inspiration on top you have the the slabs those are also really nice so now I need to work on the sides like I was saying before layering is really important and you know I didn't do a very good job at layering here but I didn't I mean it was a quick and easy fix of layering so once i finish this i'm going to stop the recording again because i have to be very careful that this doesn't crash or i have to start this recording all over again so once i just finish with that i'm going to start the recording again okay back for recording three so now you're going to get some very nice photography lit cinema i mean views of the starbucks i don't know how to say cinema so as you can see, the Starbucks. Um, if you were wondering, you know, I used to do like the whole building, but it's not worth it. It takes a lot more time. And really what's interesting is the front. You know, unless I'm doing like a big store, like a Walmart or a Kmart or like a big anchor, it's not really worth it for me to do the entire the whole of the building because you really just capture the building in the front. And I think that makes me be more creative. So. My final seal of approval is this little Starbucks thing. And here we go, the final still pictured. And this took only about 20 minutes to make. Um, this was a 20 minute video and editing it down to seven minutes was pretty hard. So congratulate me. Now, I would just wanna thank all of you. I recently just hit 20 subscribers. And I know that sounds like nothing. And I know that sounds like trash. But for me, that's pretty good. I mean, some of my videos are getting to 200 and 400 views, some of my older videos. I know pictures of Sears, of Puerto Rican Sears, got 60 views, and I am so happy about that. Um, this Starbucks week has been pretty successful. I mean, I'm starting a new uh, newsflash series because I'm going to go on hiatus to create uh, the downfall of Kmart. And that also has the downfall of Sears has 30 views. So on to 30. On to 30 subs. Bye.